So I'm out here with Randy today. How's it going, Randy? Okay, that's all right, Randy. That's all right, man. It's 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 uh, tough at sometimes. But uh, my man, my name is Randy. I'm 52 years old. I've been on the streets for uh, approximately uh, 38 years. Um, I do have a uh, methamphetamine addiction. I was born a heroin addict, and I was born inside a state prison. Um, I did some youth authority time. Um, I'm out here on the streets right now. Uh, at, uh, it's winter time right now and, and we really need some entities out here. We need portable showers if that could be uh, uh, handled. We need hygiene uh, on a daily basis, every other couple of weeks, a week. And we need some kind of uh, medical uh, assistance because a lot of these people out here, they can't get to the hospitals. They can't get to need to, to where they need to get the entities that they need to survive. And that makes, feel, makes people feel uh, uh, hopeless. You know, and when, when people are hopeless, like right now, I'm, am I depressed? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm depressed and I'm uh, uh, downtrodden because I see a lot more youth coming out here. And for you guys that are youth, stay in school, stay positive. There's nothing out here. There's, there's nothing out here, you can see it. You see it in my face. I'm 52 years old. You want to be here when you're 52 years old? I don't want to be out here. I don't want to see nobody out here 52 years old because I need to get in a place because I'm going to die out here and I don't want to die out here by myself. I have, this is my family. I have no family. All my family's gone. What's the youngest you're seeing out here, Randy, as far as the youth? 16. 16 years old? 15, 16. 15, 16, okay. Yeah, and they're on, and they're on doing dust off. What is that? They're doing that inhaling stuff that you spray on, spray on computers. Okay. That's no good. So like an aerosol can? Yeah, okay. That kills 10 billion brain cells. So, so I'm a hypocrite. I smoke methamphetamine, okay? It's not, it, it, it's, it, any one of those drugs that known to kill, chemicals known to man will kill you. Okay, but I've been using that and weed to medicate myself. They want to put me on psych meds. Any one of those psych meds will kill me. I've been balancing myself off with this for a lot of years. But that dust off and inhalants is not good because it makes, it makes them do weird shit. It yeah. makes it, excuse my language, it makes them do weird, do weird stuff. And I don't want to see my youth out here. I have two kids, I have a boy and a girl, and they're all grown up, they're 31 years old. So if you're out there, uh, uh, babies, I love you, and I'll be all right. Okay, and that's your, that's your message to them. Okay, and how long have you been right here in San Bernardino? I've been in San Bernardino almost 25 years. 25 years? Yes. Okay, and as far as, uh, at nighttime, when it's getting cold, or what's the danger? I have a out tent. There? Uh, it, it, it drops below a certain temperature. It gets really cold. So when it gets really cold, I walk around and, and check on the, the community myself, because there's a lot of people that can freeze to death. You know, there's a lot of older people that can freeze to death. You know, and and uh, other than that, and uh, other than that. Um, the community needs more, we need to be more adhesive because when we become homeless, I look at it this way, everybody out here is one step and one blink of an eye from being homeless and not having a job. So everybody that gets treated badly, they got to watch out for what they do. When they hit people, they, they treat us uh, bad. We're human, just like another person. We breathe, we put our pants on just like the same as everybody else. I just want us to have some more entities and I want some more facilities where we could have a homeless community so we don't get messed with and get kicked out everywhere we go. We need some stability until we can get on our feet. If we can't get no stability, we're pushed around, guess what, we're gonna push back. And when we push back, we don't have no rights. When we're homeless, we have no rights. And they say we have rights, no. They take us and they put us in jail and they do whatever they want to do with us. I've been trying to get my ID for six months, sir. Okay. And I can't get it. I, 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 I filled out these, uh, 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 these free uh, uh, um, uh, receipts or, or uh, uh, vouchers to get ID, and I have never received none one ID, and I have, and I've sent my picture to Sacramento three times, and I haven't gotten no ID. That's important for me to have ID. What do they here. need you to have to be able to get your ID? Okay, I, I need a. Uh, they, they give this a voucher. It's a homeless voucher. You don't have to pay nothing out of it. I, I gave three of those up and I haven't received none of my IDs. Okay. And I don't know why everybody else has received their IDs. They got their IDs, they went down to the EMB and they came out and got them. I haven't received my ID and I live in a homeless camp community right now with three other, four other people that got their ID and I haven't received my ID. And it's the same people that came out. I don't know what's a malfunction with me. Okay. 
Okay, so you're the only one. Yeah, I'm the only one out here right now, and I need that. It. Yeah, everybody's got ID. If I get pulled over right now, and no ID, I I can be detained for 72 hours for not having no ID. Oh, John that's Doe. how they do it out here. Right? John Doe. Okay. It's the state of California. They could do that in anywhere. Sacramento. All, they they implement that law out here. It's too big. They don't care. You know, it's it's too crowded. It's overwhelmed. We get brushed underneath the, the uh, carpet. In in uh, the San Bernardino and Highland are one of the worst homeless uh, communities we have right now. There's so much crime, there's so much, uh, uh, there's so many homeless people out here, it's not even funny, man. Yeah, it's just getting ridiculous. I mean, it's, we're, we're, we're on top of, we're climbing on top of each other almost. I mean, and, and it's getting worse. We don't have no spots to, place, to, to keep, uh, to, to stay at. If you were to clean up these places right here on the side of the freeway and, 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 and implement water, sanitation, toilet, uh, so sanitation, somebody to clean the facility on the side. We have enough room and enough place in this world to do that so we won't have to be where we're, we're smashing on the community. Because what we're doing is we're charging all the bathrooms, they're locking all the bathrooms, they're, they're uh, locking everything up because we don't know how to take care of it, because we live like animals, because you're making us live like animals. How, do you, how the heck are we supposed to survive? It's either sink or swim in this world, right? And that's how we were taught. That's how I was taught. You know, if you either sink or you swim, so what do I do? I, I, I resort to what I have to resort to, and that's to survive. If I'm hungry, I'm going to go to the store and take something. If I, if I, if I need clothes, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm not, I'm not afraid to say what I'm going to say because I'm homeless. you got to take care of yourself because nobody else is going to take care of you. That's all I have to say. Okay. And as far as your everyday needs, I mean, what is, what do you do to, to support yourself every day? I, I fly a sign or I go canyon. Panhandling? Yeah, I panhandling. Okay, or flying the sign. Yeah, flying the sign is panhandling. Okay, what about as far as anybody offering you jobs? Like, you know, around these stores? People give, people give me a job. They'll, they'll drive by on cars and go get a job. Okay, I'll chase them down, but you can give me a job. I'm glad to take any one of these guys' job for a day if you stay out here for a month and find out how it is to live out here. Yeah, exactly. That's what I want to know. I'll work with whatever you want me to work. Just don't tell me, go get me a, go get a job. Half these people can't get a job because they got mental disorder. They can't hold, they can't touch money because they got a, a record. They cannot touch records. They got theft. They got armed robbery. They got, they got mayhem. Do you, you, you want your? I would, I would hire them. Why? Because I've been in that street. I've been on both sides of the street. Okay. I'd never forget where I came from. Never forget where you came from when you come up. Because if you do, that's when people turn against you. And when they turn against you, then you have nobody. Then you, then you, then you, then you're nobody. And when you're nobody in this in the homeless committee, you might as well be you might as well uh, die and 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 be uh, be forgotten about because they're not going to help you because when they needed help, you didn't help them after you knew where you where you came from. That's never forget where you came from and be thankful for everything that we got because we're not promised today. We're only promised today. We're not promised tomorrow, and we can only live our minute our lives at one minute at a time, not one one second one second at a time. And don't forget, you can start your day over at any time. And stay in school, guys. Stay in school, kids. Don't do drugs out here because there ain't nothing out here. There ain't no future. Look at me. Yeah, Look at that. 52 years advice. old, man. Yeah. I'm 52 years old, kids. Don't want to be out here. And I'm a father. Do you think my kids want me to be here out here right now? If they're to see this, this shit right now, which I can't touch, I can't talk to them or anything, they're in tears. They'll be in tears right now. And I hope you see this. Okay. And if you can change one thing out here only one thing what would that be uh, a facility for the homeless permanently okay. for the people that come into the community that are homeless and to get them out and keep the facility running by the home who else is going to run it let the homeless run the facility what's wrong with that okay. they know what, what's a better person to do is to run the facility if they know that if they know how to do it do give they, somebody a hands do right. they have any uh, buddy coming out here offering shelter no no, they, they do. Okay, step one. That's where I got my idea. Step one hasn't helped me out. I've been on that list for 15 years to get a home, to get the homeless voucher, to get into an apartment. 15 years. I, I, I remember the, the day that I was in there. It was 20, uh, 20, um, 2010. It's what, 21 now? Yeah, 21, 11 years ago. 11 years ago almost. Wow. And I've been put on that list when I got arrested for, uh, uh, for uh, trespassing. I got warrants for right now, okay, yeah. for trespassing. Why do you think I got warrants for right now? Because I have to survive. It's better than me breaking into these buildings and causing mayhem 
and more damage to uh, the people's lives. So I panhandle. Sue me. You know, that's that's the bottom line. I'm, I got to survive. You got to survive. You got to put food on your plate, on your table. If you don't put food on your table, your family starves. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna have to survive. If you, if if you, I'm sorry. It, it, it takes two to have a baby. So in this situation, when you have a baby, you make sure that you take care of that kid as much as you can. Exactly. Because if you don't, then it's gonna end up like me. And I have two kids, and I don't know where they're at. I hope they're doing good. You where know, are you originally from? from? I'm from. Uh, I was born in Chachilla State Penitentiary, so I'm, I'm originally from out there. I okay. was born and raised. I was born there, but I was born in LA County. I was raised in LA County. LA County. Yeah. Okay. South Central, uh, all the way, all all around there, Melrose. Capital Records in that, in that area, East LA, East Los. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Thank you for talking to me today. And like I said, I'm going to give you a few things here to. I appreciate your uh, time and your effort out here because everything, every minute needs, every second that I talk to means a lot to me because human contact is important yeah. to, to people and to have people know that the, there's people that do care out here. And I thank you for that. Exactly. And, you know, I'll come back around. You know, try to come around once a week, twice a week, check on you guys, give you guys some food and some other necessities. I'll keep so. an eye. Out, I'll keep an eye out for your truck, and I'll let more people know that what's going on, so they can get recognized. Because the more people that do understand where we're at, the more help we get. Because you're the eyes, and you're the spokesperson for us. You're the middleman. Because we can't go in there and talk to them. They won't talk to us. They talk to us like we're aliens, and that's not. We're not aliens. Those are human beings. I, I can go in there and talk to them. Actually, I can't go over there and talk to somebody rationally like, and you're the only person. I, I go and talk to somebody about this stuff and laugh at me. They, don't, they, don't, they won't give me the time of the day because they don't want the time of the day. Because they're too busy doing what? Nothing. What, what, what are we doing? Nothing to nothing needs nothing. I got time to do this. Even if you didn't give me anything, I would be blessed because I'm giving back to the community that I want to get back to and giving out uh, information that needs is vital because yeah, there ain't not enough exactly people out there. Need. It's vital. Yeah, so it's vital information. This is... This is uh, 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 food for, for thought. This is, this is manna. This is what we need for, for this community. Because if without support, it's going gonna, it's gonna to crumble. It's like a house of cards. Yeah. Very good and, and very smart, man. Thank you uh, for your time. And you're good with me using this on my YouTube yes, channel? Yes, I am. All right. You have a blessed day. And I'm going to end the interview here. All right. Thank you.